I'm sure they were able to be a lot more accurate with 1885 than they were with 2015. <laughs> he needs a scooter, hoverboard, horse. Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's really got the mad scientist thing going on right now. Oh my gosh. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed, where I'm literally in my bed and watch movies I've never seen before. So for those of you who are new here, I am reacting to movies through my personal lens of avoiding any movie pretty much that wasn't a chick flick or a happy ending, as I'm finding out that uh, shut me off from some great cinematic masterpieces that not only are amazing to watch and appreciate, but really show you more of the world. And that's good for everyone. So thank you for being here. If you wanna see full length reactions to this movie and any other movie, you can head on over to Patreon. I always feel weird talking about it because I feel undeserving, but it's a really fun community over there. We've got polls and full length reactions so we can basically watch the whole movie together and um, some extra content. So if you want, but if not, that's okay too. But it would help if you would click the subscribe and the little bell thingy to notify you when there's new videos, which um, there's just, all of you have the best suggestions. And so I have a list a thousand miles long and I'm just having so much fun with this. So thank you again for the millionth time for being here. And let's get started with Back to the Future 3. Okay, I just want, this is what I want. I want Marty and Jennifer to change their crappy future that I saw in Back to the Future 2 and be happy and Marty not make poor decisions and their kids can be successful and confident and Back to the Future tonight, part three, here we go. I am just so happy that this is such an entertaining, happy, feel-good movie, so I feel excited. And I feel like Marty and Doc are just such good characters. You just love them so much and feel like you know them. So I get to hang out with my friends now. Nineteen fifty-five. Oh, that's right. You gotta love this song and this score. Okay, they showed this at the end of number two. So now Marty comes running back. The real Marty, the original Marty, the 1985 Marty. <laughs> okay, relax, Doc. I'm back from the future. Right, but I came back again. I came back. No organ. Don't you remember last night? You fainted. I brought you home. Correct. You will receive this letter immediately <laughs> after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. And you made a real difference in my life. I love their friendship. I'll always treasure our relationship. I never knew I could write anything no, so touching. No, Doc, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so what I was gonna say is for all this, Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3, it's been like a week for Marty, right? 1985 Marty? Because he went back, stayed a couple days. As soon as he got back to 1985, he went forward, stayed there for like a day, went back, reenacted the book thingy. Okay, hold on, I missed something. Oh, they're getting the I think DeLorean. Up. Is it bad that I've never heard a of a DeLorean before this? Is it a real car? How are they gonna get it out of there? Doc! Come here! Quick! Here lies Emmett Brown. That's him. Who died September 7th. Oh, you see the ghost? Oh, great Scott. No! Shot in the back by Buford Tannen over a matter of $80. Buford. I have a nickname Mad Dog. William McFly and family. It is true. All of the it. The new clock. 
It is me who goes back there. Going back to 1885, and I'm bringing you home. Have you ever seen a western? Yeah, I have, Doc. Remember where you're going? There are no roads. And there's a small cave over there, which will be a perfect place to hide it. Okay, he's going back. I feel like Doc is always just in a rush, like... If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm gonna crash into those Indians. They'll instantly be transported to 1885, and those Indians won't even be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Ouch. Maggie! Fetch some water. We got a hard man here. Was that him? William McFly? You've been asleep for nearly six hours now. Oh my gosh. I had this horrible nightmare. It's the same lady. You're safe and sound here now at the McFly farm. McFly farm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too good. Well, you're my... The name's McFly. Maggie McFly. And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc... Clint Eastwood. I'm not one to pry into a man's personal affairs, but... Is that Scottish? Would you like some water? Uh, yeah. You. Strange young man. Aye, but I've just got a feeling about him, Maggie. And after him's the right thing to do. That's Michael J. Fox, right? That is one ugly shirt. I'm sure they were able to be a lot more accurate with 1885 than they were with 2015. <laughs> they were sure ambitious with those... 30, 40 years. The manure hauling, the clock tower fundraiser. It's like all these nods to the exact same things happening in the future. Okay, so this dog will know him. This is the 1985 dog. Take a look and see what just breezed in the door. <laughs> What'll it be, stranger? Ice water. <laughs> Ice water? <laughs> water. In here, we pour whiskey. It burns the table. <laughs> hey, McFly! Thought I done told you never to come in. You want to change, Mr. McFly? What's your name, Death. dude? Uh, Martin. Oh, my gosh. Clint Eastwood. I'm looking for that no-good cheating blacksmith. You seen him? No, sir, Mr. Tannen, I have not. <gasps> Biff Buford. Tobacco spit? And we got the chase scene. Oh my god. He needs a scooter. Hoverboard. Horse. Well, that seems inhumane. Ow! Sheesh! Oh my gosh! straight in your head so from now on you better be looking behind you when you walk Doc. marty i gave you explicit instructions not to come here but to go directly back to 1985 but it's good to see you marty what idiot dressed you in that outfit you did shot in the back by buford tannin over a matter of 80 dollars <laughs> now i wish i'd paid him off and who's Ooh, this I, just Clara? I don't know anyone named clara do you remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when she came in? Coming in tomorrow. Clara. Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. <laughs> get the DeLorean and get ourselves back to the future. You mean we're out of gas? The internal combustion engine runs on ordinary gasoline. It always has. Without gasoline, we can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. So what do we do? No. Um, they're gonna have to make gasoline. The strongest stuff they got. Whoa. Try it, Marty. Uh, um. It'll take me a month to rebuild it. 
<laughs> He's really got the mad scientist thing going on right now. If we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour. That's it. Do you think it's possible to get it up to 90? <laughs> well, I suppose Marty. if you had a straight stretch of track with a level grade and you weren't hauling no cars behind you, then yes, it might be possible to get her up that fast. It's a long stretch of level track that will still exist in 1985. Therefore, as long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour before we hit the edge of the ravine, we'll instantaneously arrive at a point in time where the bridge is completed. Help me. Help me. Great Scott! What a face. Okay, I'm guessing this is Clara. He's gonna save his damsel in distress. I'm a brown at your service, Miss. Clara Clay. Clara. She's the mom from Elf and she looks exactly the what same. A beautiful name. I'll straighten everything out with Mr. Stafford for the buckboard rental. Don't you worry about that. Love at first sight. Thank you for everything. You're quite welcome. Okay, that's adorable. Tomorrow night, Sunday, we'll load the DeLorean onto the tracks here on the spur, right by the old abandoned silver mine. Oh my gosh, it's not even halfway over. That means they're going to hit some more roadblocks between now and then. What does this mean? Point of no return. That's our fail-safe point. Up until there, we still have enough time to stop the locomotive before it plunges into the ravine. For the DeLorean! Pushing the DeLorean! Up to 88! Just yelling. It couldn't be simpler. It's Clara! Quick! Cover the DeLorean! I'm confused for a second because she was supposed to go over that and die, so never have met him. But before Marty came back here he was erected by his beloved Clara. So even if Marty didn't come back, they would have met and fell in love. How does that work? Thank you for taking care of my telescope. You're quite welcome. So tomorrow's the day they need to leave because the next day, Doc gets shot. Doc cleans up very nicely. Love his plaid suit. This is sad though, he's gonna find his soulmate and then have to leave. Unless they just kill Biff before he, and then, or Buford. Well, that'll throw off everything too. Tell me one thing, where'd you learn to shoot like this? Oh, the video game. 7-Eleven. Oh my gosh. I love how they're doing the little nods to the other shows. Trickler. I didn't know you was back in town. If you can't read the sign, Tannen, I presume you can read this. Oh, Strickland! The principal! Man, people really didn't leave town. <laughs> there he is, Buford! Where? There, dancing with that piece of calico. Buford, you ain't got but one bullet with that. I only need one. Why does he look so dirty? Well, look at what we have here. No, no, Emmett, I'll dance with him, Emmett, Boys, I'll dance with him. I don't dance very well when my partner has a gun in his hand. I believe you've underestimated me, mister. Gross. Ah! I damn you. To hell! You. Hey, lighten up, jerk. Look, just leave my friends alone. Oh, what's wrong, dude? You yellow? Nobody calls me yellow. I'll be back this way on Monday. Settle this then. Right there out in the street remember when they went to the future in 2015 and marty's mom said that marty threw his whole life off by getting in some kind of um race in a rolls royce or against a rolls royce and that threw off the course of the rest of his life is that going to be answered in this show because um, after 1985 when i was 11 i had diphtheria i was quarantined for three months so <laughs> my father brought this telescope and he put it next to my bed. Emmett, do you think we'll ever be able to travel to the moon? Well, not for another 84 years, we're not on trains. We'll have space vehicles, capsules to settle off, the rockets. This is like the first time I've ever heard Doc speak normal instead of outer space. <laughs> Emmett, I never ever met a man like you before. Oh, shooting star. Come on, give us a close up. 
Long John. Doc. <laughs> Doc. You're really you doing well. Oh, nothing. I'm just out enjoying the morning air. It's really lovely here in the morning, don't you think? Yeah, it's lovely, Doc. Listen, we're gonna load the door oh, in up, get ready to roll, all right? Hey, look at that, the tombstone. All right, let me see that photo back again. Hey, that's great, Doc. But only my name is erased. The tombstone itself and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. So, it may not be my name that's supposed to end up on this tombstone. It may be yours. Great Scott. You're wearing that gun. Yeah, I can see. You heard what that son of a bitch caught me last night? Exactly what causes you to get into that accident in the future. <gasps> the accident. What is wrong with my future? Marty, we all have to make decisions that affect the course of our lives. I've made a decision. Huh? I'm not going with you tomorrow. I'm in love with Clara. Oh, man. Marty came all the way uh, back for him. Here. I guess he came back and warned him, though. What's the right thing to do up here? Come on, Marty. You're right, Marty. You love. Doc, listen. Oh. Maybe we... I don't know, maybe we can just take Clara with us. We shall proceed as planned, and as soon as we return to 1985, we'll destroy this infernal machine. Jesus. Yes, Clara. Well, I'm afraid I'll never see you again. Where are you going? Take me with you. I can't, Clara. Oh. Doc deserves love. If, if you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. All right, then. I'm from the future. <gasps> How is she going to take this? Yes, it do understand, because you know in order to take advantage of me, all you had to say is I don't love you and I don't want to see you anymore. Oh, God. You can leave the bottle. Doc! Uh-oh. How much has he had? None. That's the first one. He hadn't touched it yet. I've lost her, Marty. There's nothing left for me here. All right, but that's why you got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Right. Let's get going. Damn it, no! <laughs> How many do you have? Just one. <laughs> well, something inside me told me I should be here. As if my future had something to do with it. Are you in there, East One? It's eight o'clock, and I'm calling you out. You ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. Come out here and prove I'm wrong. Don't do it, Marty. Don't do it, Marty. Don't do it. Doc! Doc, you okay? I think so. Whoa. Car, train. You got one minute to decide. He just wants to go back to his normal life. Come on. I've never seen a man so broken up over a woman. What did you say her name was? Clara. Clara. Was this man tall with great big brown puppy dog eyes? You know him. You can do that? <laughs> right here, Tannen. He can't die because he has offspring. I thought we could settle this like men. You thought wrong, dude. <gasps> Bulletproof vest? That doc is very spry for an old guy. Come on. I'm like sweating. Come on. Rage. Is this a hold up? It's a science experiment. Moment of truth. How are they going to get in the car? They're going to stop it first? Come on. Wait, Clara. Doesn't Doc have to get in the car? Oh, 
okay, we're cruising at a steady 25 miles an hour, Doc. <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh no. The train's gonna go off the mountain. <gasps> no. Is that why they named the ravine after her? Because she dies right now? No, they wouldn't. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh boy. How are they gonna get out of this one? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's all gonna work out, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. So Doc is staying? Show us first. Made it. <gasps> I see he has sweaty palms. <laughs> well, it destroyed his time machine like he wanted. That means there's no more going back and getting him. Well, Doc, it's destroyed. His truck. Come on, guys. We're gonna be late for brunch. What's wrong? We thought you went to the lake. You wore that to the lake? Thank God, <laughs> you guys are all back to normal. I really like that hat, Marty. Thanks, Biff. Jennifer's gonna remember? I guess it wasn't that big of a deal that they changed the actress because she had such a small part. Marty, it was a dream, wasn't it? Wheel. Needles. Let's see what she can do. Chicken? <gasps> no, no. Get you off. learned better. Don't do it. You're going to get in an accident. It ruins your whole life. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, you think I'm stupid enough to race that asshole? Jeez, I would have hit that Rolls Royce. Doc's never coming back. I'm sure going to miss him, Jen. What the hell? Ah! No way. Honey! Doc! Where? These are our boys, Jules and Vern. Oh my god. Boys, I didn't want you to be worried about me. Marty learned his lesson in the past. He didn't ruin his life. Doc is quite old to have two young children. Where are you going now? Back to the future! Nope. Already been there. Oh my heavens. <laughs> that was so happy. It's over. Okay. That was another one that I felt like I just smiled like a idiot the whole time. And it was so happy the perfect happy ending tied it up with a neat little bow everyone was happy jennifer and marty's future is bright doc had a family and was in love the mcfly family was successful and confident anyways i thoroughly enjoyed that i liked it better than the second one i still think i liked the first the best just because the 80s part and the 50s part was so fun. I mean, the Wild West was good too, but I think I preferred the first and everything was just like so new and fresh. But then in this third one, you felt like you like really know the characters. So that part was better because you feel like you're more connected to them. But overall, such a fun watch. And I feel like they haven't made movies like that in a long time um and they answered all my questions so i feel very satisfied so that was so fun 
I'm sad there's not more. I want to know, I want to keep watching Marty and Doc. Anyways, loved it. Hope you guys liked this reaction. And if you want to subscribe, just click the button over there. And I don't really have any buttons, but I'm sure you know what to do. Anyways, thank you all and bye. -bye.